Hi, I'm Alex and Equin. This is Akai's Musical Encyclopedia. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Today's word is obbligato, obbligato, which in America you may spell with just one B, but in Britain it has to be spelled with double B, okay? Anyway, I spelled it with double B because I, th I think it's prettier. Anyway, uh, obbligato means obligatory, mandatory, something you must do or not. It's a very complex translation because um, it's not used anymore. Let's examine a little bit. Obligato. Um, in the Baroque period, many times the composers would not indicate to which instrument they composed their pieces. It, it, it was simply not done. It, it seems crazy for us today, but it, that's the way they, they composed. In some instances, Johann Sebastian Bach, some of his uh, scores, we're not sure, sure which instruments he intended that, that piece to be. Okay? Sorry about my English today, I'm slow. Anyway, obligato then, then me, meant that the composer wanted you to play that specific instrument. It would sh appear as violino obligato, mandatory violin here. Do not play your kazoo. You have to play violin here, okay? It seems crazy for us, but it was done at the time. Um, there's another example with uh, J.C. Bach, Johann Christian Bach, one of the, the sons of, your, of uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, where he composed a piece for 12, uh, Zwölf Stimmen Obligato, um, mandatory, obligatory for 12 voices. And the voices in case, in case were um, woodwind instruments, flute, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. But he meant that all 12 parts must uh, must be played. So, twolf, twolf stimmen obligato. Sorry about for, for my German also. My English is bad, my German is worse. Anyway, um, there is another different use in the continuo, okay? The basso continuo from the Baroque is a combination of instruments where you have, for example, cello or harpsichord, or double bass and organ, okay? It's uh, a string instrument, a, a bold instrument and a keyboard instrument that would be the continuo. And, and uh, it was known, the continuo was, uh, was all, always improvisatory. They would improvise much like the chords that we have uh, today, okay? C major, F major, but they would improvise in a way, in a manner that they, they did it, okay? Uh, practice of the time. But sometimes uh, the composer wanted specific notes to be played, and then they would he would write obbligato there, me, meaning stop improvising and play these notes now. Okay. Now there's one crazy usage of the word obbligato, which means exactly what it did not meant until then. Obbligato means mandatory, but it was wrongly used to mean alternate, alternative, or not obligatory, which is crazy. But um, in America, you have this funny um, word that used, is used in American menus, okay? In, in, when you go to a restaurant, I, I was very surprised about this. I went to a restaurant, or many restaurants, and then you have, you know, the main course, you call it the entree, which is wrong. Entrée in French means appetizer, but you use the word entrée in French, which you pronounce entrée, meaning main course. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, but it works for you, okay? Americans call entrée the main course. The same way the word obligato meant optional, which is absolutely the opposite. Okay, the word that was later used to mean uh, optional was ossia in Italian. O S S I A. O W S I A. Ossia, meaning you can't play this one, play this alternate part. Okay, ossia. So I'm saying this because sometimes you will find in non Italian scores the word obbligato, meaning exactly non mandatory, which is absolutely crazy. But anyway, the word obbligato. 
is not used anymore. Why? Because today we interpret that musical scores are all obligati, okay? If you open a Mozart score, if you open a Beethoven score, you must follow exactly what's written there. There's not like, oh, I need to, I need to, uh, to put piano obligato in my piano concerto so that people know that I really want the piano here. No, if you write a, a piano concerto, it's obviously for piano and orchestra. Understand, got it? So obligato with single B in America and double B in Britain, it's not used anymore. How tragic. It's such a pretty word. Anyway, I'm Alex and Equin. This is Akai's Musical Encyclopedia. Have you subscribed to the channel? I need you to do that. Please go ahead and do it now. Thank you very much. Goodbye.